perfect. Welcome back to Switchback Outdoors. This is the Icon Tour Open Season. This is episode 16. If you guys haven't watched episodes 1 through 15, I'll leave a link in the description below. I'm going to announce the winner of last episode's giveaway for the Sig Sauer Zulu 6 binoculars, and the winner of that is Sarah Loftus. Sarah, shoot us an email, switchbackoutdoorstv at gmail. We'll get that all set up for you. On today's episode, we are giving away a set of Kafaru game bags. Once again, all you have to do to enter is be sure to be subscribed to Switchback Outdoors' YouTube channel and leave a comment on this video. We have a pretty special video for you guys today. Jim's with his cousin. His cousin took him a lot of years to draw this tag in Wyoming and takes just an absolutely amazing buck. You've seen this buck get shot many times on the intro, so you guys will probably know what I'm talking about there. Um, we're going to have a break for next Sunday's video. I'm actually going to be down at the Desert Challenge, the archery event in Marsing, Idaho that we put on. And so I'm not going to have a chance to get that video uploaded in time. So you guys are going to have a one week break. So I'm sorry about that, but we'll do something to make it up for you guys. Um, it's going to be Jim's coos deer hunt down in Mexico. So you guys definitely don't want to miss out on that. If you guys haven't entered in to win the grand prize drawing, I'll leave a link in the description below. If you guys haven't listened to our podcast, uh, we've got a few episodes uploaded right now. We're working on a bunch more for you guys. There's a link in the description below for that. But... A lot of stuff for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to put a Kafaru Sawtooth review at the end of this episode. So at the end of the episode, we'll kind of go through the, the giveaways that we're doing. And then it'll be the next, uh, or there'll be the Kafaru gear review on the Sawtooth Shelter that we did last spring. You guys said you like seeing that kind of stuff. So I threw it in at the end of this episode. Thanks again so much for watching. I'll see you guys here in a couple weeks. And uh, hope you guys enjoy today's episode. Good morning from Wyoming. We're back. Um, pretty special tag here. And just looking for bucks. It's a late hunt. And the last couple days we've been roaming around. Seen some awesome, awesome deer. Tons of deer. More deer than you could ever imagine seeing. <laughs> morning we found a pretty good buck um two really good bucks big four point big backs and then uh another bucks got some inlines a couple kickers so we're gonna give it a look and see what uh see what you guys think of him waiting on cousin has the tag he's on his way up and we're gonna figure out how to make a move on this buck so stay tuned well, came up with the game plan. Um, Scott showed up, so I'm gonna go drive around, get on top. That buck fed into some timber, so I'm gonna get on top and walk out the ridge and see if we can get ahead of him there. Slowly taking our time. Haven't seen anything yet. So we just got down 
here, working our way down the ridge, and this buck, uh, first we take a little snack and saw a doe stand up. And, uh, I'm sorry. And then, uh, buck followed her out and then down to the little drainage. We were like 350 yards. Um, I mean, he's a good buck. He's got big inline, couple kickers, so we're looking at him. We'll see. Uh, might be another buck out there. We'll it's just cool to see this one though. But yeah, you can see that inline kicking out. That's not his front tie, that's his second inline on that side. So we're sitting here on this buck, he's 250 right now, working through some aspens, and then that big back four from this morning came through and they kind of eyed each other and then uh, took off. So this buck's about ready to come out of the aspens and it'll be game time. That's him now. You got him, Jim? Yeah, I'm on him. Perfect. Perfect shot. <laughs> Buck down. Scotty, what just happened? We killed a buck. Killed a great buck. <laughs> great buck. Four and a half hours of sitting on him, and we got an awesome buck. We're gonna go get him now. Well, it all panned out. Sat up there for four and a half hours, and got him down. Kind of losing faith. Sun was going down, but hustling over to get to him here. Before it gets dark and give you a look. Oh my god. First look at him. Look at that shit. Look at that inline. Kickers, inline, everything. Heck of a buck, Scotty. Oh. Jim and Sam found this buck today. Turned out everything we wanted. Lots of junk. Set for hours. <laughs> More than we've ever set. But it all came together. Thank you for watching episode 16 of the Icon Tour Rope and Season. On this video, we're giving away a set of Kaparu game bags. All you have to do to enter is be sure to be subscribed to Switchback Outdoors' YouTube channel and leave a comment on this episode. If you want to, tell a friend about us and you can share this video on social media. Thanks so much and we'll see you in the next episode. Welcome back to Switchback Outdoors, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't hit subscribe, hit that subscribe button and that alert bell. I'm going to be talking about the Kafaru Satu shelter. Anytime I post a picture of this shelter or if you guys see it in a video, you usually get questions about it asking what shelter is that and can we get some more information on it. So I'm not going to go through the whole TEXA or the tech specs of the, the Kafaru Sawtooth. I'll kind of overlay some images. Uh, I'm just going to go through and show you guys what I like and uh, how I've been using it for this, these past however many years. I've used it on high country mule deer hunt in Wyoming. Um, Chalice and I used it on a wolf hunt, a backpack wolf hunt in January. 
I mean, I've used it on spring bear hunts, kind of use it throughout the year. It's an amazing shelter. You can fit three people in it, but for two people, it's pretty amazing. It's got a stove jack. I mean, there's so many features about this thing. Um, so I'm gonna kind of show you guys. We've got it set up, we're on a spring bear hunt right now. Um, and this is kind of how we got set up. One thing to know, if you look at the saw to this kind of tapers down in the back, if you know which way the wind's gonna be coming or if you have an idea, like on this hunt, the wind's been coming up over the saddle. So we set the tail end of it that way. That way it kind of, the wind hits it and it kind of goes over the top of it instead of just, just, just getting pounded by the wind. So that's a little tip for you guys. Another tip is that they've got a liner for these, so you get condensation in them. But if you don't have the liner, like I haven't used it, I've got a liner, but I don't use it very often. But if you leave, this top little portion open like this and tie it back it allows air coming through the top and it kind of helps eliminate some of that condensation if you're not using the liners well, let's take a look at the inside so this is how chalice and i have had it set up for this bear hunt and like i said you can kind of look in there it's got a lot of room for two people um I usually pack it doesn't it's a floorless shelter so you usually got we got a couple things of tie back in here um, you've got your one main pole that comes up and then down at the end you've got a smaller pole that you can kind of push the that end up but like I said I've slept three people in here three grown adults in here uh, me and my boys it's amazing but for two adults um, and then like right here you've got the stove jack that you can I've got to cut out for the stove jack the nice thing is if you're not using the stove, you just put that Velcro over it and uh, kind of keeps rain or anything from getting inside. But the stove would go normally right here next to this vertical pole. So you just have the stove right in here. Um, inside, the cool thing about this system is I'll kind of show you guys too, is right here you've got, this is the, the actual stuff sack that the sawtooth fits into. So when it's in here, you've got a pocket you can put things in. Um, but like I said, it folds right back into itself. But lots of great features about this thing like i said we don't have liners in it right now super easy to set up and uh for a shelter this big for how light it is like i said i'll throw some tech specs in on it um it's pretty amazing so this is the kafaru sawtooth like i said you get questions a lot about it like i said anytime i post a picture or if you guys see it in the video. So, Kafaro's got a lot of amazing shelters. I've also got the eight-man TP. That's the one we, you guys will see, um, or you've seen on our last year's Icon Tour where we're taking it on horses. And, but this thing, like I said, you can split it up between two guys. One will pack the shelter, one will pack the poles and the stakes. And uh, you've got a pretty amazing um, shelter for the backcountry. Or even if you're gonna be camping next to a road. The, another really great thing about this too is last year, Chalice and I on our elk hunt, we set up on an absolute nasty hillside. Like we had to dig out like old like deer beds to set up. The cool thing with this is since it doesn't have the floor, you can like the one side can be up higher and the other side can be down lower and you can adjust this vertical pole. And we were able to like, I was probably sleeping about a foot higher than Chalice was and he was down below me, but we had the shelter over the top of us. So this is the Kafaru Sawtooth. Hope you guys enjoyed this. We're gonna get back to bear hunting. This is, uh, we're actually videoing, or we've been hunting and doing an episode of Icon Tour Spring Bear. So if you guys haven't watched the Spring Bear series, go check that out. And like I said before, like us on, uh, like a, or like us on, like this video, subscribe to us, like us on all our social media pages, go check out Kafaru. Like I said, they've got a lot of amazing shelters, a lot of great backpacks. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.